<coughs> Thanks for joining today. Uh, when we're ready, we'll uh, start with Kirsty. No worries. Okay. Um, well, Nuno, yeah. we've had some breaking news today regarding Everton. They've had their points deduction reduced. Um, it's four points less now. What have you made to that news? Obviously, it's changed your position in the table. You've moved down a place. You're now a point behind them. I, I understand that you're going to ask a lot, of, about, a lot of things about this, but I cannot tell you much. I think we still have to wait. Um, the decision regarding us to be made, and then you'll see. Do you know yet, in terms of your current situation, obviously, have you had a date yet? Do you know when you might hear in terms of the hearing regarding Forrest, and is that something that's, that's maybe yeah, weighing but, uh, over you and your players? Yeah, but uh, you should ask someone else from the club. My, my job is to, you know, to prepare the team, to focus on, on what we have to do, Regarding the hearing and the decision, we are waiting. There are people in the club that taking care of that is not. So these questions are not appropriate for me. I will not say much. I guess the one thing you can do as a manager is make sure that your players aren't distracted in, in any way, as you say, by, by looking at the league table, by thinking about what might happen to Forrest. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, totally right. Our focus has to be on the training, on the games, on the preparation, on our tasks, totally right. And in terms of those preparations, yeah. how are things looking for Wednesday? Team news, do you have any changes to the players you have available from the weekend? No, unfortunately nothing has, has changed. We still have the, the problems of the injured players and basically the same. And do you know any more in terms of the, the injuries, in terms of length of time players are out? Is, is as soon as possible, <laughs> we hope. <laughs> this is what we want, as soon as possible. Is this something that's kind of... Of course, it's a big problem for us, something that we, we are concerned about is too much situations happening that is creating a lot of problems in terms of options for us. So hopefully this will improve and, and we have more, more solutions. And is it something that you can look into deeper in terms of maybe why some of the injuries are happening? And, yeah, and ma, we are all asking why. This is our main question, why? Why is it happening to us, yeah. Um, and in terms of preparing and, and thinking of the team you might put out against Manchester United, I know you, you've always taken this competition really seriously, but given that, that maybe the, the necessity to get points in the league and your position in the table, how much will... Saturday's game against Liverpool come into your thinking before Wednesday? It doesn't come. It doesn't come. Our, our idea since the beginning is to, to go game by game, always trying to find the best, the best team to, to face the next game. In this, this case, is Wednesday against Manchester United on the FA Cup, something that we are really positive about, that we want. Uh, is at the city ground. We will try our best. Um, the last couple of games, obviously, you had the win against West Ham. You got the clean sheet. How concerned are you that, that maybe the result against Villa will have affected the momentum and, and the conceding of four <coughs> goals again, sort of undone the, the hard work that had been put in? No, what we are concerned is about um, trying to understand um, this different, um, different performance that we had. We had a very good performance here at the city ground against West Ham. We were positive and thinking that uh, for the next game, we didn't start well the game. We didn't start well the game, we conceded easy goals. This is what we are trying to understand and make sure it doesn't happen again. What specifically do you think have you been working mm. on this since today, since that game, to, to try and prevent that again? Try to understand, try to, to see, analyze, work, um, speak to the players and try to find uh, the why be, uh, be behind the reason that we didn't start well the game, the way we planned it, the way we wanted to go for the game. So we made our task very, very difficult after we, we would react with 3-1, 3-2, we had good chances, but the beginning of the game, we, we have to make sure it doesn't happen again. We have to, to be more compact, more solid, uh, more organized, 
So this is the main focus. And as a, as a manager, I guess it's hard, the balance between the really good attacking play we've seen, the chances you're creating, you don't want to affect that too much by then, then sitting back too much and defending. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that, finding that balance. Nobody has doubts that uh, going forward we are, we are doing things well, we are scoring, creating chances, good momentum, good play. But at the same time, we have to, to improve because football is made of offensive and defensive. So being compact and solid has to be our main target. What have you made to, to Manchester United this season? They had a disappointing result and, and performance at, at the weekend. Is but still a very good team, a very good squad. This is what we have to, to really think. We're going to face a tough opponent on Wednesday night. And you beat them here, of course, in December in the Premier League at the city ground. Can you look back at that game and, and see what you did so right in that game? Well, that game is to, for us to analyse, to see the things that we did well. At the same time, we didn't do anything, no, not too many things, but we made mistakes, Try to not repeat them again. Um, this game is useful for us to look at it, knowing that it's not going to repeat, it's going to be a new one, new things will happen. Um, but we want to go for the game, we want to, to continue in the FA Cup and we want to give a big, a big joy and happiness to our fantastic fans. Thanks, Nuno. Thank you, Christina. See you. Thank you. Thanks, Kirsty. Uh, Charlie? Thanks, Hi, Nuno. Hello. Uh, what difference can those supporters make for you on Wednesday evening here at the City Ground? Big difference, big difference. Uh, playing at home is, is always very good for us. It's been since the beginning, the support of the fans, the noise of the city ground is very helpful. How different of a team and how different of a proposition and challenge are Manchester United without Rasmus Hoyland? Uh, they, but they have good solutions. They have Rashford, they have very good attacking players that can make the, the position, so we still have to wait and see. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, Sam? <coughs> um, Hello. I think it's... I, I understand that you sort of play play to the next game, but with the now increased, um, I guess, points challenge in the Premier League and the injuries you've already got, um, is it still the best decision to sort of put, put those best players at, at risk of injury, I guess, against Manchester United on Wednesday? Football is like that. You cannot think what's coming after. You have to deal with the situations that is in front of you. If you're concerned about what can happen, doesn't make sense. In my idea, it doesn't make sense. We always look for the best. Always. And as you just said, the city ground is, is such an important part, I think, to, to how Forest play when they win games this season. Is that, is that still something that going into this game is, is a positive to take into it? Of course. Playing at the city ground for us is, is huge. We want our players to feel comfortable, to feel confident and to, to use this fantastic energy that we have from the stands, our fans, they are pushing us, and this is what the players must feel, feel comfortable to play at the city ground. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That concludes okay. the broadcast section, so cameras off, please.